A remarkable thing happened on a small island off the coast of Alaska, USA. When a fisherman is surrounded by eagles, no one can predict what will happen that day. We will bring you the incredible story of a man who did what no one else dared to do. Alaska is a small island town of only five. Zero, zero, zero people with a port called Dutch Harbor. There are often wrecks left by strange fishermen here, and where there are fish wrecks, there are plenty of pests. These native pests treat the wreckage as a meal. This is a very luxurious food for native pests. This small town is sparsely populated. And there are many American bald eagles here. The climate here is suitable for their life, and there are many fresh fish here. The port is capable of catching more than 787 million pounds of fish annually. It's easy to see why they'd hang around here, they can easily get food. Everyone in this Alaskan town is well aware of the existence of these birds, and they do scare the locals a little bit, they start planning to avoid them at all costs, until this person does something weird. Everyone thought he was a special fisherman who was doing more than they knew. When we were filming him, we were in awe. Jesse Parker was his name, and he was very brave. Born and raised in small towns in Alaska, Jesse followed in the footsteps of many others into the fishing industry. He working out every day. Jesse must have a catch every day when he goes fishing. It's an integral part of his life and he's used to having vermin on his boat. Jesse is always alone. So it's a dangerous story. On this day, like the rest of 2013, Jesse was out fishing as usual, the sky was overcast, the day was cold. The sea is not calm. The fishing experience was not pleasant. But Jesse made a very impressive catch, and he had good harvests for the month. He is tired but happy. He returns to the pier after a good time fishing. He is admiring the sea, this beautiful place is his home. He is tired, but happy to live in a small town. In a sense. Everyone knows about each other's business, but it's a hidden life. For Jesse, nothing is out of control. The rest of the town doesn't welcome Jesse, who they see as a bird of prey. Until one day, everything changed and Jesse did something no one else dared to do. On that particularly fateful day, as he was returning to the dock, he noticed a gigantic creature lurking above his head. He knew it was a hawk, and they sometimes worked up the courage to come aboard his boat while it was still moving, but that was rare. They generally just glide gracefully behind the boat. The shadow of the bird followed the fishing boat. Jesse, aware of the bird's presence, was unfazed and continued with his work. In the process, he was a little taken aback. When the boat stopped, the bird landed on the deck of the boat, right at his feet. He tried not to react to the hostile creature. He moved slowly back away from the giant bird that was very close to him. Jesse knows exactly what the bird wants, and the answer is fish. Jesse is happy because he sees an opportunity where maybe he can get closer to that funny creature he's so fond of. Something inside of him told him everything was going to be alright, he just didn't know the reason for that feeling yet. The bald eagle standing majestically on the deck of the ship. It watched Jesse very closely. It doesn't trust humans and they are very aggressive birds. Probably because they are very intelligent, they can read situations very well. When Jesse offered a fish to the eagle, it was skeptical, and Jesse just kept his cool. He knew the bird might start to trust him, so he threw the fish onto the deck in exchange for its trust. He's trying because he believes in this wild animal. It's just that he doesn't realize that he's being watched closely by some eagles around him, and they're quick to want to get involved. Jesse begins to notice more and more eagles landing on his boat. They look forward to food. 
Jesse tried not to move too much so as not to startle them. The visibility here is poor, and he doesn't know that nearly three dozen eagles have landed on his humble boat. As you can imagine, the place must have been hit by the waves, and not only are these birds endangered, but they basically don't congregate. So this is indeed an unusual situation. They kept staring at Jesse, and if they tried to attack him, he really couldn't defend himself. This has always been a controversial topic, bald eagles are revered among Americans and they are currently protected by law. But the truth of the matter is that in the past, bald eagles were actually considered scary. Because these impressive birds are highly gifted enough to inflict serious damage to people, not to mention their sharp beaks and long wingspans. Before laws were introduced to protect the majestic birds, they were often hunted for their damage to crops and livestock. While this was acceptable at the time, things got complicated. The birds are endangered, with just over 200 bald eagles left in the wild. So they're put under conservation laws. These eagles need this law. The law was quickly put into effect. Helping to restore respect for the bird of prey and its existence. And people started giving the birds enough space. But on rare occasions, these gigantic birds can still be scary. Jesse suspects that there are more predators on his boat than he thought. But Jesse is a daredevil and tries to do something no one in reality dares to do. He slowly reached out to the nearest eagle, and Jesse tried to hand feed it. This is something anyone would be afraid to even try. You must be wondering what the result is. These huge birds came to trust the fishermen. Why? No one knows. Maybe they sensed that he meant no harm at all, or maybe it was the lure of these tasty treats. As Jesse interacted with the eagles, another fisherman filmed the whole process on his phone. Including a surprising number of bald eagles surrounding Jesse. It's an unbelievable sight. Later, the video was uploaded on social media, where it went viral and got over 8 million views, as people from all over the world were amazed by the video. Today. The Alaskan town is known for its large population of bald eagles, as Jesse's video sparked curiosity. The townspeople have since learned how to be friendly to these majestic birds, and they've learned how to read the birds' body language so as not to cause any trouble to the birds. They'll even avoid the local post office because there's a pair of eagles behind the post office building. They are giving respect to nature. It's a true but unbelievable story. People followed the animals through videos on social media, these animals often surprise us. The town got some great publicity and has become even more popular with bird lovers. Hello everyone.3 3D printing was only in science fiction not long ago, now it has been widely used in daily life. 3D printing is already helping animals a lot. What is 3D printing? That I end short. 3D printing is a manufacturing technique that IT is a three-dimensional product based on a digital model. But how this technology is making life easier for many animals that we will tell some interesting cases in today's program. This story is about a puppy who was born with a STD. This chihuahua named Roy was born without front legs. The puppy's fate seems destined to be miserable. But its owner decided to give the puppy a chance at a happy life. He left it at the shelter hoping the dog would find a loving owner. Luck did favor this little dog. Veterinarian Ashley Olson of Indianapolis loved it and brought it home. He tried to make a set of wheeled toys out of plastic tubes and parts for it to use. After seeing the news about this dog, Mark Derrick, director of a 3D printing company in San Diego, decided to help this puppy with a 3D mobile stroller that they ended up creating 10 moving 3D carts. Their structure can be replaced as the dog grows, this lucky chain of events allowed the puppy to finally move fast that that's how it got its name. What follows is a story about Dimak, the Russian cat who was badly frostbitten. 
the cat was brought to Norfolk Veterinary Clinic in October 2018. They noticed that its limbs were badly frostbitten, veterinarians decided to amputate its legs and tail, Dimac can only move by crawling and it has a poor appetite, animals in this condition are often euthanized, but Dr. SG decided to install a bionic prosthesis for it. He analyzed the possibility. Its new legs are digitally modeled and 3D printed in titanium, unique porous structure enables maximum joint integration, animal bones will be fused to the titanium prosthesis to prevent body from rejecting IT. IT is also overlaid with a special calcium phosphate based biological code. The biocode was developed by scientists of Tomsk Polytechnic University, this makes implants look like a bone, this minimizes the possibility of rejection, prosthetics are implanted into the bones of the cat's front and rear legs, they also attached little claws to it. That's made of flexible plastic and can be replaced as needed. Point seven months later, the prosthesis is fully implanted in Dimac's body. It's unbelievable. It's almost healed. That IT can walk, run, walk upstairs, and it bounces amazingly. Amputated duck. A duck at a Tennessee waterfowl sanctuary was born with its left foot turned backwards physiotherapy and alternative treatments used by doctors are ineffective, the disease caused this duck a lot of pain that is oh, its foot was amputated, this is to make its life easier. Workers try to make a wooden prosthetic, but that's uncomfortable and heavy for ducks, volunteers then turn to a company that specializes in 3D printing, asking them to provide silicone prosthetics for the duck's duck that is a premium replica, actually, it's another duck's left foot. It is used as a sample for 3D models, ducks with prosthetic legs become popular on social networks. IT has its own Facebook account, there are many fans who follow the duck prosthetics closely and are interested in the life of this unique bird. This company has developed several 3D prosthetic variants for the duck that IT uses this to waddle and swim on the surface of the water, special Christmas holiday model stepped on by Thai elephant Martha at seven months old but no one knows there's a mine under there that IT lost its front leg in the accident. To give this poor animal a chance to live a normal life, Thailand Elephant Rescue Center and Asian Elephant Foundation turned to renowned Thai surgeon TCJ for help. He is a doctor with extensive experience in 3D printing, the doctor didn't turn them away. He agreed to help the huge animal while meeting its needs. So he started working on prosthetics. As Martha grew, so did the rest of the prosthetic. Its prosthetics have also been improved. Point nine surgeries and nine years, with the careful work of surgeons and the care of animal rescue organizations. Martha becomes the first elephant to have a prosthetic. The prosthesis weighs 15 kg that it's durable and not too heavy for an elephant and dot prosthetics are 3D printed from steel frames, they use thermoplastics and elastomers, this beautiful toucan has a very large beak that I in Latin America. It was attacked by rogues, it lost a vital organ, the beak, toucans use it to get food and preen their feathers, when the Humane Society found the bird that IT can no longer survive in nature, they decided to raise money to make a 3D beak for it and name the prosthesis after it. They posted on a crowdfunding site asking for help, misfortunes of birds affect people greatly, the project raised over $10,000 in two days, beak prosthesis must be light but strong, the bird would continue to grow, so they decided to create a two-part artificial beak. The inside of the beak can be removed for disinfection that the upper part can be replaced as it grows. Birds beaks are also unique markers to attract females. So they're going to use some different bright colors on its beak. Here's the benefit of having a prosthetic too, helping this toucan reproduce. Horse with bad hoof, Holly, a white mare from Australia, suffers from a dreaded hoof disease. This can seriously affect the animal's hooves disease that causes swelling inside the hoof, resulting in poor blood supply that IT also compresses the soft tissues of the legs. Severe pain afflicts animals not only when walking, but also when standing, Vet Lickwell Smith offers to ease Holly's pain, for this he turned to Australia's National Science Agency in Sydney, experts at the centre were able to 3D print a titanium horseshoe. 
this re-enables the horse to have a hoof. And they reduce the weight of the hooves, which relieves the animal's pain, finally Holly was able to walk and even run again, sometimes the fight to save animals takes an unexpected turn. South Africa's Inverdorn Game Reserve director Damien Vernet recommends a ban on products made from rhino horn. The reason he did it was for animal safety, the death rate of the endangered white rhino is high, they are widely killed by poachers, the main reason they are killed is because of rhino horns, this is the main reason for the suffering of those unfortunate animals. What happens when the rhino loses its horn, how would they survive without the protection of their rhino horns, some propose replacing horns with 3D, printed prosthetics made of aluminum and plastic that it's fully functional and not offensive to anyone the idea of rhino horns has been tested we hope that greedy poachers will stop harming other animals turtle without shell brazilian tortoise flanders suffers from a horrific fire that it was exposed to high temperatures and the turtle shell went from cracking to completely shattered that a turtle cannot survive without a shell but an animal rescue group called Animal Avengers came forward, they have surgeons on their team, they decided to save the reptile, they did a lot of preparation for this project that I in order to make an artificial shell exactly like its shell. The scale model of the turtle shell used thousands of photos of Flanders and other turtles that it's necessary, taking into account the specific characteristics of the injured animal, they have difficulty customizing prosthetics to the individual size of the injured animal. The frame structure is manufactured with the help of a 3D printer, then the designer also added the required composite material by using printing technology that they are lightweight but durable, its distinctive shell was originally white but after an artist manipulates it, it acquires a natural look. Looking at Flanders today, it's hard to guess what it has gone through. That's all for today. If you like this video. Please tell us your thoughts in the comments section. Don't forget to like and subscribe us. Thanks for watching. See you next time.